Hi there, Cat Lewis here. I'm sharing five part-time work from home jobs. I have a nice variety here and you can earn anywhere from 18 all the way up to $50 per hour, depending on the job you take. And what's really cool, these jobs are not really asking for a whole lot of experience. So I'm gonna get into the details, but before I do, I just wanna say this. Recently on YouTube, I've been coming across a lot of videos about part-time work from home jobs. I haven't watched any of those videos and all the jobs I'm gonna talk about today, I have found through my own resources. So just in case I do talk about one of the jobs that maybe you have seen already in another video, I wanna apologize for that, but rest assured these jobs are still available as of the time we're making this video. So with that said, let's get into them. The first one comes to us from Hop Skip Drive. They provide safe transportation for older adults and children. They have an opening for a safe ride support specialist. This is a part-time position. It is remote. And I'm just going to scroll down here. I want to see how much this job pays. Way down here, they tell us they'll pay $18 to $20 per hour. So there are a couple things I want to mention. They're only able to hire remotely in a handful of states. And those states are Arizona, California, Colorado, D.C., Florida, Illinois, Kansas, Maryland, Wisconsin, Oklahoma, Utah, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Nevada, New Jersey, New York, Oregon, Texas, Virginia, Washington, Missouri, and Michigan. If you live in those states, you're good to go. And they're looking for someone who's able to work Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. or 1.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you don't have to live in that time zone, just translate your local hours to those hours. So this is your typical customer service kind of position. In this role, you'll handle a high volume of calls to the Safe Ride Support phone queue. You closely monitor in-progress rides and provide any needed support for parents, riders, and care drivers. You resolve any issues that may come up during the ride, even if it means a creative, out-of-the-box solution. You'll send and quickly respond to SMS messages about rides in progress, recognize and report to leadership trends and issues and complaints, and maintain adherence to all personal and department goals surrounding performance. So you must be able to recognize and resolve problems before they arise. You can troubleshoot questions about the apps and the website. You're able to multitask with several apps and software programs to handle daily tasks. And you must be able to switch between those tasks and duties with speed and ease. They'd like you to have high volume call center experience and you're comfortable using MacBook across multiple systems and platforms. So they'd like you to have at least one year customer service experience in a call center high volume environment. You have performance metrics, environment experience, meeting or exceeding indicators. You're a good collaborator, you have troubleshooting skills, and they prefer you have experience using Google Suite and MacBook. So if you like this job, this one pays between $18 and $20 per hour, hiring in a handful of states. If this one interests you, check out the link below for job number one. Job number two is with Trust and Will, and they help people create trusts and wills, just like the name implies. Today they have an opening for a member support specialist. This is a part-time remote position, and I'm just gonna scroll down here to find out how much this job pays. They'll pay between 20 and $23 per hour. They'll even give you a $250 work from home stipend and Mac and Apple accessories. So they're looking for someone who can work 25 hours per week, five hour shifts during the business hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you don't have to live in that time zone, just translate your local hours to these hours as long as you're able to work five hours between that time. So this is your typical customer service kind of position. They want someone who is able to deliver best in class consumer experiences. You're a strong, effective, and resolution driven communicator who can empathize with users effectively, investigate issues, provide education, and propose thoughtful solutions. You should be a clear and thorough writer who provides accurate, clear communication via customer experience platforms such as Zendesk. So Zendesk is the software program they use to communicate via email. You'll provide high quality support for Trust and Will members to effectively resolve their issues via live chat, phone, email, and SMS. You'll communicate thoughtfully to provide answers to questions, handle a user's issues directly and resolve customer complaints, and drive thoughtful and effective communication both internally and externally. So they want you to be a thoughtful communicator who's excellent at communicating through a variety of channels. You have a sincere passion and obsession for customers. You're a creative problem solver. You're self-motivated and you have experience using tools such as Zendesk, G Suite, ClickUp, etc. You get bonus points if you're bilingual in English and Spanish. Bonus points if you have startup experience. You also get bonus points if you have knowledge and understanding of estate planning. And bonus points if you have omni-channel support experience. And all of those things are just bonuses. They're not required. So if you like this one, this one pays between $20 and $23 per hour. You can find the link below for job number two. 
Boldly, they provide administrative assistance for businesses of all sizes. And right now they're seeking part-time as well as full-time employees to serve as remote executive assistants, supporting established Fortune 500 companies, senior level executives, and successful business owners. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. I wanna see how much this job pays. So you're gonna be an actual employee of this company. You're not gonna be freelancing. They'll pay between 24 and $28 per hour, and they want you to work at least 25 hours per week. And you can work whenever you want in this job, if you want to work early mornings, afternoons, evenings, whatever. So what will you be doing? In this job, you'll maintain appointment schedules and calendars. You'll also plan and schedule meetings, conferences, and make travel arrangements. You'll read, research, and route correspondence, draft letters and documents, collect and analyze information, and initiate phone calls. You'll manage multiple email boxes for executives, manage expenses, provide customer and supplier support, and do other executive administrative responsibilities as needed. So they'd like you to have at least seven years of direct hands-on experience in an administrative support position. They also want you to have at least four years of calendar management experience, as well as a minimum of two years experience in executive travel coordination, including flights, lodging, and ground transportation. And they want you to have at least two years experience managing and organizing the email box of senior leaders. They'd like you to have advanced knowledge of online software tools such as Google Workspace, Office 365, Zoom, and other popular productivity tools. You're a multitasker, you're highly organized, you have the ability to learn new tools quickly. You have excellent interpersonal skills. You have strong writing skills. You're able to work independently and you're solution driven. So if you like this job, this one pays between $24 and $28 per hour. You can find the link for job number three in the description below this video. Next up, ExamWorks. They provide independent medical examiners. Today, they're looking for a quality assurance coordinator. This is a part-time remote position. Even though it says Pennsylvania right here, this is fully remote, and they encourage you to apply for this job no matter where you live. So I'm just gonna scroll down here. I wanna see how much this job pays and what your hours will be. I see neither in this job description, so I had to do a little bit of research. Looking at their profile on Glassdoor, it looks like they pay between $23 and $35 per hour for quality assurance. Now there's no way I can guarantee that's how much you'll make. You'll have to work that out with them when negotiating your salary, but at least you have a starting point. In this role, you'll perform quality assurance review of reports, correspondence, addendums, and supplemental reviews. You'll ensure clear, concise, evidence-based rationales have been provided, ensure that all client instructions and specifications have been followed, and ensure new review is supported by clinical citations and references. You'll also ensure the content format and professional appearance of reports are of the highest quality and ensure the appropriate board specialty has reviewed the case in compliance with client specifications and or state mandates and is documented accurately on the case report. You'll also verify that the peer reviewer has attested to only the facts, ensure the provider credentials and signature are adhered to on the final report, identify any inconsistencies, and assist in resolution of customer complaints and quality assurance issues as needed. And you'll do all that while ensuring federal ERISA and our state mandates are adhered to at all times. So they're not asking for much. They'd like you to have a high school diploma or equivalent. They prefer you have two years of certified medical assistant experience, and that's just preferred, it's not required. However, you must have strong knowledge of medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, medications and laboratory values. You need good math skills, and they prefer you're able to type 40 words per minute. You're able to use Microsoft Word, Outlook, Excel, as well as the internet. You have excellent English skills. You're able to follow instructions. You can demonstrate accuracy and thoroughness. You have exceptional communication skills. You're able to work independently, and you must be able to maintain confidentiality at all times. So if you like this one, this is job number four. You can find the link below. Apartment lists. They're an online database of apartment rentals. They're looking for a content creator social media contract. This is a contract position. This is also a part-time position. You'll be working 25 hours per week and they'll pay between $40 and $50 per hour. In this role, you'll create entertaining of the moment video content that resonates with the audience across Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. You'll build monthly content calendars, craft post copy, and schedule content based on platform best practices. You'll also source, build relationships, and manage day-to-day -day communications with content creators, craft on-brand responses to comments and engage with like-minded accounts and platforms to build the renter community, and you'll work closely with other team members within the company to create social-first content and support their various initiatives. 
So they'd like you to have two to three years of social media management and or content creation experience at a B2C brand agency or freelance work. They'd also like you to have experience with B2C Instagram and TikTok, experience with Pinterest is a plus. You need a portfolio of work that exhibits your content creation abilities. You're able to use design tools such as CapCut and Canva. You have strong communication skills. You also have an eye for good creative and general aesthetics. You're able to streamline multiple workflows and you're well versed in online culture and you stay up to date on the latest trends. So if you like this part-time remote job that pays between $40 and $50 per hour, you can find the link below for job number five. Well, there you have it. We just went over five part-time remote jobs. I hope at least one of these works out for you. Leave a comment below. Let me know which job you're going for. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any job leads when I post them. Good luck to all of you who apply. And as always, thank you so, so much for visiting. And I'll meet you on the next job lead.